We're going to clear out any paint in the axle hole so that the straw will fit into the axle hole. So you don't need to clamp your car for this. I'm going to move the clamp out of the way actually and just hold my car by hand. Turn on the bit. Up and down and clear that paint out. And then I'm going to do the same in the back. We're going to put a straw through the axle holes. This will reduce friction. You put the straw in the hole. If you just put the straw through there and cut close to the edge, you're going to have a, some straw sticking out there. To prevent that, you're going to put your straw through the hole so it just comes out the other end. Pull it out a little bit. Cut it right against the edge. And then push that in. And then that should really be pretty much inside the car. Now we're going to do the front axle. Put the axle through your car. And it needs to be an inch longer than the width of your car. Essentially, you should have a half inch on each side. The easiest way to do this is put the axle through the car. With the axle just sticking out the other edge, just right against your finger, you're going to put a ruler on the other edge of the car and make a mark right at one inch. We're going to be using a hacksaw to cut the axle. The hacksaws will have metal written on them. We are going to take the mark that you just measured and you're going to put that right against the edge of the vise. You want the part that you're going to keep inside the vise and then the excess hanging out. Don't put this line, the cutting mark, way out here. You could bend the axle when cutting it. Lightly press back and forth to get it started. Don't push too hard or you'll bend the axle. And cut it. The piece that just fell off is going to be really hot from friction. The metal vise absorbed all the heat from this piece, so this piece that you're going to use should be fine to take out of the vise right now. Again, don't touch the other piece, it could be hot enough to burn you. The front wheels are the thin wheels. You're going to put one on a workbench, place your axle inside the hole of the wheel, take a hammer and tap that in. Put the axle through the car, line the axle up with the other wheel, and tap that in. If the wheels are in right, you should, they should be able to spin freely, there shouldn't be a whole lot of wobble, but you don't want them so tight that they don't spin. You should have a little bit of excess. The rear axle is the same thing. You put the axle through the rear, measure and mark an inch, place, tap, put through, line up. Tap and they should spin, they shouldn't be wobbling very much.